guys, in this video, I'm gonna be going over my full trading setup. I'm also going to go over the specs of my PC, what is necessary for you, and what is luxury to have as your trading setup. Before I jump into that though, head over to tradercreatorpro.com and check out the full course that I have to offer and some other free stuff on the site. Tons of links are gonna be down in the description below like signing up for Webull to get free stock or links to the different things I'll talk about in this video. So let's jump into it. So first off, I use a PC. There's a big debate between Mac, PC. In general, PC is a little more friendly with trading because there are a few programs that won't work on Mac like TradeStation or Lightspeed. But with Mac, I've heard that the new CPU has one of the best single core threads than any of the other CPUs. The thing that's good about that is because Thinkorswim is a single thread application. So it should technically run better on Mac than any other. I haven't tested that. The CPU that I have in my computer isn't anything crazy. It's an AMD 7 3700X. This runs about $300. This would be equivalent to probably an Intel i7. I would definitely recommend that you get at least an Intel i5 or higher with your computer. I have 32 gigs of RAM, but I would say that the minimum requirement is eight gigs. Best would be 16 gigs. Anything above 16, there really isn't that big of a difference when it comes to the trading applications. So 32 and above is luxury. I would say 16 is the sweet spot. Now for the GPU, I have a Nvidia GTX 1660. Again, nothing too crazy, but it gives me the ports that I need to run my monitors. And it can display enough pixels to do all of these monitors. That GPU gives me three DisplayPort inputs and one HDMI input. And I use all of them, obviously, with my four screens. I also have a water cooler in my computer. That is definitely luxury, but it helps with uh, noise. If there's no fan on my CPU and it keeps it very cool. So I've had no problems with my CPU overheating or anything like that. Now for memory, I don't have a ton of memory. I actually only have a 256 gig solid state hard drive and then I have a one terabyte drive just for all of my files and stuff like that. That is something that you could maybe upgrade, have a little bit more memory in your solid state drive the applications don't take that much memory. I do also use a Toshiba two terabyte external hard drive to move things between my laptop and my PC. It was actually kind of hard to find a external hard drive that works seamlessly with a Mac laptop and with a PC, but the Toshiba two terabyte that I have the link in the description below has worked perfect. Next onto my favorite part, which would be the monitors. The most important thing to remember with monitors is one, that your GPU can run it. And two, the amount of pixels that's going to be displaying, and that has to be balanced with the size of the screen. For example, I had two 1080p 27 inch monitors at one time, and those worked great. And then I wanted to upgrade. So I got a 32 inch 1080p thinking it's going to display more data but it sure doesn't because it is the same amount of pixels. They're just blown up on a bigger screen. Now, the other problem is if you get say a 4K screen, but it's a 15 inch monitor. That text on that monitor is going to be itty bitty. There has to be a balance between the two. So I would recommend something like a 4K 43 inch monitor. Those ones are really cool because they can be divided into four sections and it would be like having four 1080p monitors stacked on top of each other with no bezels. For me though, I love my setup here, which I have two 27 inch 1080p monitors. These I bought used for about $100 each, so super cheap. This middle one was about $1,200. This is a 49 inch curved Dell monitor, and this one is equivalent to two 27 inch 2K monitors. So you really pay a premium just to not have a bezel, but I do love this monitor, especially if you like to play some games every now and then. This monitor is really fun to play some games. And then down here, I have my 1080p 
touchscreen ViewSonic monitor. This one doubles as my travel monitor because it can connect to my laptop with one cord that sends the power and the data back and forth. So I really like this as my portable second monitor. I also like it to be able to do trainings or videos to be able to draw on my screen. Something else to think about is how much GPU a 4K monitor takes. For example, this monitor right here is a 49 inch monitor that displays 5120 by 1440. This is about 7.3 million pixels. Think about the GPU, it has to run those 7.3 million pixels. Now you could get a 4K 15 inch or 27 inch, whatever size, but if it's 4K, it's gonna be running 3840 by 2160 pixels. That is over 8.3 million pixels. So your GPU has to run a million more pixels. So that little 4K monitor would take up more GPU space than this giant monitor. So let me know if you have any questions about monitors. They can be kind of confusing. Also, don't worry about refresh rate if you are just trading. Refresh rate doesn't matter for trading. That is more for games and refresh rate will take more power for a GPU as well. Now for some of the smaller things, I've got this keyboard here. I really like it just because it's clicky, but honestly it's nothing special. Just picked it up off of Amazon. However, my mouse, this is a new mouse. I used to only use a just a normal gaming mouse, had all the normal buttons and stuff, but this one I'm able to customize and control each button and I've actually made some of these buttons into hotkeys. So if I press this side button here, it's gonna buy. Or if I press this button right here, it's gonna close out my position. So this has been really helpful and has changed the way that I use my computer. So I'd recommend maybe stepping up your mouse. Link is below. This was about $80. I also really like that I'm able to use it with the cord or it's wireless as well. And then when I turn it on, it will connect to my laptop. So I can use this same mouse on my computer or my laptop. I plan on making a whole video on my mouse because I love it so much. Now something else that's essential for me, but maybe not for you, are my giant speakers on the sides. So I love music and I definitely try to control my mood by doing different music on my speakers. So what I have is a Focusrite audio interface that is down here and that controls my speakers. I also have just a normal desk. This was just off Amazon, it was about $180. Link is below. I would like a rising desk, that would be nice. However, I try to trade only for the first hour or two of the day. So when I only trade those first two hours and possibly the close, I'm not here very long. So I would rather just get up and go outside than uh, raise my desk and work longer. Also, my screen is mounted on the wall to make things look a little sleeker and obviously you can't I can't raise that with my desk raising too. I don't need a rising desk, but that is something that might be a need for you. Lastly, people always want me to talk about my travel setup. So I don't travel a ton, so I can't say that I've used my travel setup a lot, but I do have one. So first off, most of the time I just use my phone. So the Weeble app works amazing and also Trading View displays the charts the exact same way that it's displayed on my computer. So I love using both those apps on my phone. And I have a Samsung Note 10 Plus. This phone is still kicking and working just perfect. And I've had it for about three years. I really like that I've got a pen and that it has 12 gigs of RAM, which means it can quickly switch between apps and it can multitask really well. So I've had no problems trading from my phone. Um, I would very much recommend using Weeble and TradingView on a phone those are definitely some of the fastest apps for trading. However, if you really want to go crazy, maybe check out the Z Fold. It basically is a tablet in your pocket. The only problem with that one is I've heard that the battery's not as great. I did test it out for a little and it was amazing to have it, but I actually went back to my Note 10 Plus. So for my laptop though, I have just a MacBook Pro. I mostly use this for editing videos. It does run Webull, TradingView. It doesn't run TradeStation. And I actually bought an entire separate computer for TradeStation so that I can run some algorithms and stuff like that. And this one is a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. This one's a little bit beefier. 
It has an AMD Ryzen 7 5000 series with the GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. So it is pretty close to the same specs as my PC. It runs really fast and you can play games on it if you would like as well. But I could use either of those to trade while I'm away. And of course, I would bring my second display, which is my ViewSonic. Now, something I would recommend is that if you do get a laptop, you want to be careful with the screen because you are on a limited space. So you're gonna want a little more pixels than normal. Don't go for just a 1080p. I would say that's minimum. You definitely want above 1080p. But this one is a 16 inch screen and it definitely makes a difference to be using this over my 13 inch screen. This one's obviously way more portable. So you're just gonna have to give and take whatever you want um, with your travel setup. This one's definitely more beastly, it's heavy, it's big, bulky, but it's definitely more powerful, has the nicer screen. The thing though with gaming laptops is they do focus a lot on the refresh rate on those screens. So this one has 165 hertz refresh rate, which doesn't help me in trading, but I liked a lot of the other specs. So that's why I went with that one. So the things that are necessary, you want like an i5 or better, the GPU just needs to be able to run whatever monitors you want to run and don't try to get high refresh rate monitors. Not worth it for just trading. Also, I wouldn't recommend going for 4K monitors that are small. If you go 4K, go for the 43 inch or something like that. Otherwise, go for 1080p 27 inch monitors or 2K monitors that are about 27 inches. You have to also remember that the way that things display are gonna be much smaller between the 2K 27 inch and the 1080 27 inch. If you're traveling a lot, I would say that a second monitor like this one, a portable second monitor is needed. I would say you want at least two monitors at all times when trading. However, this many screens is a bit of an overkill. I do use all the real estate every day. Just, just note that you will never feel like you have enough screen real estate. So just be happy with what you have, honestly. Most likely, if you're having a hard time trading, it's not your setup, it's probably you. And that's a hard thing to say. That's what I had to realize. It's not my monitors, it's not my broker, it's me making bad decisions. So let me know if you have any questions though. Of course, like, subscribe, head over to tradercreatorpro.com and comment below for any questions and I'll see you in the next video.